So, guys, are you ready to go play? Should we go find a spot? So now you have to try and run and jump on the couch, and then you could find something. Yeah, okay, so jump and then crawl. Nice. Jump on the couch, but then crawl back, okay? Other nice Good crash. The floor is lava, so you can't touch the floor. You can only touch the pillows. <laughs> Got him! Bring him back! Ring, 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 ring. Say hello. Hello. Ethan, I have what? a mission for you. There is what? a bad guy. This time the bad guy is disguised as a car, and he's hiding somewhere in the room. You may not touch the floors. <laughs> Yes! You got him! Phew! Ethan, stay very low to the ground. You have to crawl. That's one way to do it. Uh-huh. It's great. Ooh, good swimming skills. Ooh, we got the bad guy. Oh! Yes! Now, Mom will be the drawer and you'll be the cutter. Open, there you open, go. Open, open, open. There you are. It's like, you want to start. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Okay. A nose. Nothing. And some eyes. A nose. And a smiley face. There you go. He looks so cute, Ethan. There's your dog. So today we had lots of energy at the start of our session. And so um, we met that just by doing really simple like jump crash to get started. Um, and you can see at the beginning it was kind of disorganized, right? There was a lot of like searching for things, not quite sure how many we're gonna hide. And that was totally fine. Cause our goal at the start was just to get us moving into a really, really simple sequence of like jump crash. Um, and then we were able to add in a little bit higher level sequencing later. And we had that calling game, right? Um, and it was cool cause you could see him start to get better and better at being able to follow the directions and then pause and listen to hear what the next step was gonna be. Right. Um, so it's really cool just to kind of watch him and then his balance and um, coordination kind of improved as he kept practicing that because um, his body had a better sense of how he was moving and so it was easier for him to jump <laughs> from one pillow to the next pillow. Um, and then we just ended with this folding activity which was a little tricky um, but kind of a nice way to just start working on some of our hand skills and being able to press and fold um, and do a little bit of coloring. I was understanding and now that you told it me it is that when we started because he had a lot of energy what we were just trying to do was burn energy that was the jump and crash thing and then we sequenced to the hiding thing so he got some more focus and then we moved on to doing the call and starting from beginning to an end and then that way there was a progression of so he could burn energy but then focus to test is that what we're looking to do? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, so it was basically like kind of getting us warmed up, getting our body kind of more information about how he's moving. That's what Jump and Crash does. Um, and okay. then that helps him with higher level motor planning. And so okay. later when we were doing that calling game where I would say, ring, 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 I have a mission. Now I have a motor plan that I'm teaching him because now he has to figure out how to move his body. He has to figure out how to jump from one pillow to the next pillow um, and right, keep right. his balance, right? And so he has to kind of think through all those pieces. Um, gotcha. so, and, you know, from a language perspective, right, 
there's quite a bit of verbal demands for him too, to be thinking about like, okay, there's two things I need to know. What am I gonna get and how am I gonna get it? And a lot of times for him, we got to what I'm gonna get. And then he was like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so then we had to like, pause. How are we gonna get it? Right? Um, so two yeah. different pieces from a language perspective and two different motor plans of how am I going to move and where am I going? Gotcha. All right, Ethan, thank you so much for helping me today. Oh, <laughs> It was so much fun playing, wasn't it? <laughs>